This is Twit. What were were there surprises? I'm going to tell you my surprise. Yeah. yeah. What was it? App Store Android apps. Yeah. Yes. Is yeah, that yeah. that was the one more thing? That was the one more thing. Yeah, we they, have they spent kind of... the past year talking about WSL and how this was the way they were going to do Android apps and blah blah blah. And they're like, yeah, we just partnered with Intel and Amazon. <laughs> uh, so, but so way, it's the Amazon. It's the Amazon store, not the Google Play store, which I think is well, interesting. Same thing. Yeah, there's it's, very it's, little. It's that not... minus Google Play services. Minus right. Google services. Yeah, right. but still, I you know one of the big concerns we had because we just we talked about this so many times. You know, what if Microsoft did it themselves, right? I mean, what a disaster that would be. I know. Um, you know, being able well, to Well, they tried it, right? Of, they had an Android bridge. Yeah. No, I, I mean, uh, curating Android apps and putting them in oh, the yeah, store. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I no, mean, this it, is smart. Just, uh, this is smart. Somebody already has a store. They've done the stupid work. Yeah. And it's not <laughs> you know, Google. Let, no. It's not Google, but, you know. Right. I, no, but that's that has not a, pluses and minuses. That's necessarily I, you know, a bad thing. But, um, right. Amazon makes Android tablets under the Fire brand, and so mm -hmm. in order to get Android apps on your Fire tablet, or oh, we're going to be selling Fire PCs now. <laughs> it's on fuego. Fire tablets. <laughs> and yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. Fire, yeah. tell me about this Intel bridge because I, I, okay. I'm not paying attention, but I, I wasn't aware of it. Yeah, I never no, I had either. heard of it. Okay, mm -hmm. Intel put out a press release about this today. Um, they're collaborating with Microsoft on this thing called the Intel Bridge technology. It is, um, how do they describe it? Let's see. A runtime post compiler that enables apps to run natively on x86 based devices. Um, Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold, hold on there. <laughs> you know, so that's not crazy. an emulator exactly. It's a compiler. Right. right. Yeah. It huh. doesn't that's, give us a whole lot more info. It just says we've been working with Microsoft on this. I guess that's um, what the original, what the Microsoft Bridge was to do. So, but does it mean if I'm an Android developer, I have to recompile my app? We don't know. What, is it, what does we, this it mean for say. ARM? Right. Uh, what uh, about ARM devices? So this is a strike against ARM for sure. Right. Like this is Intel going to Microsoft and saying, give us something to make it so that people are going to want to continue to want Intel devices with Windows 11. OK, let's do this yeah. bridge. Then we can have Android apps on Intel based PCs. Right. I'm so confused. <laughs> I know. We need we more. Don't know Obviously, yet. there's they a lot of details missing. Right. Right. Yeah. Intel and Microsoft haven't shared a lot on that yet. Um, but, you know, at three o'clock today, Eastern time, there's a developer briefing mm -hmm. that's open to everyone on YouTube from Microsoft. So maybe they'll tell us more during that. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, and I, I, geez. I, does this mean you literally have to have an Intel CPU in the computer to even use this feature? It looks like it looks like yes. Oh, interesting. Yep. No, R, no it's AMD like and no well, that's, ARM. Well, that's, that's a big deal right there. Well, I don't and, know about AMD, but definitely it oh. does not. I, I think it's definitely not ARM, right? <laughs> huh. Huh. All right, we, need to, we need to look into this because yeah. that, that's, yeah. that's interesting.